Hey gang, I'm Crossing Channel, and when you've been exploring in or around your island, you may have noticed some interesting objects that look super cool, but you've never actually seen them as items that you can get a hold of for yourself in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Well, there are actually a ton of different objects in the game, especially in certain buildings, which you simply cannot get your hands on. All of these different objects would honestly make really cool different items. So in this video, I want to take a look at some of these objects, which we definitely need to see as items that we can get for ourselves in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Interestingly, previously inaccessible objects that we've seen in buildings have actually been turned into items that we can get for ourselves in the game. So could any of these objects be turned into items that we could craft ourselves? I'll be joined by fellow Animal Crossing YouTuber Tiger for this video, so stay tuned for her appearance. Now let's get straight into the video. If you're excited, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more videos. Number 1, Harvey's Fence. Now this is probably the most infamous one on this entire list. I'm sure many of you guys already knew this one was going to be in here. Harvey's Fence is an incredibly iconic item for the Animal Crossing community because it's probably one of the most desired items that you can't really get that players really want. So much so that people actually hacked it into their islands and it was a pretty common thing back in the early days of the game before Nintendo caught on and kind of patched that. Tons and tons of people actually had the Harvey's fence around their island, but of course there was no official way to get it for yourself, which was honestly such a shame because it is such a great and such a cute little fence that I honestly really love. Now the question is, could Nintendo ever actually add this to the game so players can get it for themselves? I definitely think it's possible. It just goes to show that this fence actually could easily be turned into a physical item that players could get and craft as well. If hackers were able to do it, then Nintendo could definitely implement it into the game. Of course, Nintendo doesn't always give us everything that we want, especially in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but I still think there is a possibility that eventually this could be turned into an actual item. I also want to give a little honourable mention to the cute little wood box that Harvey has on his island. This is another great object that would be really fantastic if it got turned into an item that we could get for ourselves. Number 2, the Nook's Cranny Watering Can. This item is one of my favourites on the entire list, and I don't see enough people talking about it. During the spring season, you can see these adorable little watering cans outside and inside of Nook's Cranny containing flowers. They are just so great. They're such simple little objects, but they really, really make the store look a lot nicer in my opinion, especially for the springtime. And I really think these will be fantastic items that we could get for ourselves. There honestly aren't enough ways to display flowers in the games, and I always think that more greenery would be absolutely fantastic. There are so many different plants that you actually can't get, which I'm going to talk more about later, but this is one that I definitely would like to see. Number 3, Sable's Wicker Basket. Now honestly, there's a ton of different objects that I could talk about in here that would make really great items that we could obtain for ourselves. For example, she has a bunch of different sewing supplies which I think would be really great to have. But I'm going to specifically focus on Sable's Wicker Baskets which you can see next to her little sewing machine. I absolutely love these and I think so many players will agree with me that these would be perfect items for us to have. We could either have them as the stack, like she's got here, or we could just have them separately, which personally I think would be better, because like with the cardboard box item, which is a similar size, you'd probably be able to stack them on top of each other anyways. Number 4, Museum Foliage. Now, technically these aren't actual items that we could get and display around our houses or outdoors, but they could actually be new types of plants that we could plant around the island, which I think would be really fantastic. There are a ton of different plants, flowers, trees, all kinds of things around the museum, especially in the bug exhibit, which we currently cannot get, and I think they would be absolutely amazing. For example, we have these lily pads, and I can't tell you how much I would love to see water decorations like this on our own islands. I think the fact that the museum has little lily pads and we can't get them is such a shame. I would really, really love if we could put different things in the water. Also like these little things, I can't remember their names, but I, they kind of look like corn dogs, so I'm just going to call them corn dogs. These corn dogs are perfect. Again, another type of thing we could have in the water that would be really great. So definitely need to see some of this foliage get turned into actual things that we can get for ourselves within Animal Crossing New Horizons. Number 5, the Nook Stop slash ABD Machine. This item would perhaps be the most convenient one on this entire list. 
Now back in Animal Crossing New Leaf, if you saved up enough money with the post office, you could actually get sent a very special ABD machine which would work exactly like the one you could access there. It would allow you to save up and deposit money from home, pay off loans from home, it was just incredible. And of course in Animal Crossing New Horizons this machine has a lot more functionality since it lets you do other things like summon in amiibo and also redeem nook miles for different items. So I really think it'd be super convenient to have this item as one of the really high tier rewards maybe for saving up enough money with the Bank of Nook so that you could actually get a portable version in your own home or something that you could put around the island wherever you needed. This would honestly be so convenient and I figure the reason why they haven't turned this into an actual item that we can get yet like an Animal Crossing New Leaf is because they still want to give us a reason to actually go to resident services. But personally, I think having this as a portable item would be a really great sort of late game reward, something that you'd only get for saving up a ton of money. And I know players could actually just trade these so they wouldn't even have to bother to save up. But I think for a lot of people who do like to do the goals themselves within the game, this would be a really fantastic goal that people would have to work towards. Now, I'm going to be joined by Tiger, a fellow Animal Crossing YouTuber, to share with you guys some more objects that we need to see turned into items in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, Tiger, take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Tiger. I make Animal Crossing content here on YouTube. You can find me on any social media website under the username New Horizons with a U. Number 6. As you know, Isabel gives announcements every single day on your island. The announcements take place in the residential services building and this building is notorious for having unobtainable items in this game. If you look closely in the back right of the screen during the morning announcements, you will see the potted plant with some flowers inside of it. This item is so cute, it incorporates the flowers from the actual game. I'm not completely sure if the flowers change from day to day or from island to island, but I have seen several different variations of flowers on Isabel's desk. Honestly, I think that this item would be so popular if we were able to use it on our islands. I have so many different ideas for where you could put these. I could totally see this item working as a DIY where you had to get three of one flower and maybe some clay and then you would be able to craft it. Number seven. The butterfly room in the museum is probably the most popular room in the museum in this game. I'm not surprised, I mean what's not to love about this room? It's so pretty, there's flowers everywhere, there's butterflies fluttering all around you. If you look on the left side of this room, there is this beautiful shelf with a ton of plants on top of it. It looks like there's succulents and different flowers from the game and this item would honestly be a staple piece in any greenhouse or flower themed build. You could even put it inside of your house and it would be so pretty. I wish that I could get my hands on this item so bad. Number 8. I know that we just took a look at the butterfly room and the plant shelf, but honestly there are so many different items in this room that are gorgeous and unobtainable. Next we'll be looking at the flower pots with this cute little sign. There are a few of these items around the room, it's just these two potted plants with some flowers and a little sign in front of it. If you play this game a lot, you probably know that there are some sign items in the game that people love to use to kind of signify a certain area. For example, there is the cinema roll signage that you can place outside of a cafe and it looks like a little cafe sign. There's also the menu chalkboard. And let's not forget about the wedding welcome board that is so cute. Anyways, players love using these items when building things on their islands and I think that this one would be pretty popular with the little flowers and the sign. I could totally see it in a greenhouse or just anywhere on your island. I think we can all agree that Nintendo needs to give us more plants and flower type items in the game. There are some, but I just wish we had a bit more to choose from. Number 9. There is one last item that I would like to look at inside of the butterfly room in the museum. If you head to the bottom of the room, you will find this tray of succulents or sprouts. I don't really know what it is, it's hard to see. I think it's cute inside of the tray, but I also think it would be cute as just an item with just the potted plants without the tray, so you could have them kind of laying on the ground or something. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little too obsessed with these plant items. I'm just super jealous of Isabel and the museum for being able to have these inside of them because I would love to have these on my island. I guess it's time that we should probably move on from the butterfly room and maybe I should stop begging Nintendo to add more plants. Number 10. If you visit anyone's island in this game, you are sure to find some sort of seating area around their island. 
I love using benches on my island to fill small gaps and spaces and also you get to see your villagers interact with the bench and sit down and eat a sandwich or drink some juice. There is a bench inside of the museum in the bug room. I think that this bench can be found in a few different places in the museum but this is where I noticed it. It's just a simple wooden plank bench with like some stone at the bottom. I just feel like this is such a cute item. The bench itself doesn't have like a backrest on it, which kind of makes it different and um, unique compared to the other benches that we have in the game. We do have the log bench and the wild log bench, but those are more like naturey and earthy, I feel like. This one is a more sophisticated bench. Maybe I'm overanalyzing the benches right now, but I think that this one would have so much potential if we were able to place it on our islands. Although we can't place this bench on our islands, we can go into the museum and interact with it. So yes, you can sit down in this bench and you can dream about obtaining this bench and using it on your island. <laughs> So that was 10 objects that you can't get as items in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but ones that we definitely need to see get turned into items in the game at a future date. I honestly think there's a lot of potential for these things to get turned into physical items. We've seen it happen before like I mentioned at the start of the video, so why not with the rest of these? Let me know which inaccessible items you really want to get for yourself, and if you made it to the end of the video be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. If you want to help support me and my channel, click the join button down below the video or the the link in the description to become a channel member and a member of the Bob's Gang. You can get a whole bunch of really cool perks for doing so, such as exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content and posts, and so much more, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, show support, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. You can check out my links and my merch in the description, and two Animal Crossing videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you once again for watching.